guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites combined actually from the months of July and August. Uh, I was able to get my July empties up at a reasonable time, but I just had no time to film my favorites, so I figured I would just combine them because I pretty much use the same products um, both for July and August, so I figured why not just combine. So, um, and excuse the hair. Um, <laughs> Sorry if I look kind of ratchet, um, I just, it's its real life, y'all. If you hear stuff in the background, it's the lawnmower, it's its Saturday, and house clean is going down, and so I just, I had a few minutes to film, and so I wanted to make sure to film this for you guys. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, I have a few new favorites um, and a few rediscovered, so let's go ahead and see what we got. So the first thing, that I have been continuously loving is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Uh, I am down to here. I use it all the time. I just love how it makes my skin look. It doesn't make me look like a disco ball. I have oily skin, as you all know, if you've been with me for a while. Um, if you are brand new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you so much for checking it out. I appreciate it. Um, and so, uh, I had been afraid to use stuff that had like any kind of luminous anything to it. And this honestly, while it does have that quality, it's such a subtle glow that it's just, it's just like this lit from within thing. I love this. This is fantastic. So this is amazing. Uh, so I've been using that a ton. Um, and then the foundation. This is brand new to me. Um, I very quickly fell in love with it. Um, I'm wearing it today. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I am in the shade M30. Oh my goodness. I love this. This is a brand new product to CoverGirl. Um, I saw Emily uh, talk about this and I instantly wanted to try it just because I have oily skin and I'm always looking for a matte foundation. Um, but one that kind of does two things in one, as far as one that is uh, got a uh, heavier coverage as far as uh, like the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I don't have to use a concealer with that because it has such good coverage. And so I wanted to find one like that and this definitely does that. Okay, I have two pumps of this on my skin today. I have no concealer on whatsoever. This is amazing. The staying power is fantastic. My days are between 14 and 18 hour days, sometimes longer, and it definitely does the job. It's amazing. Um, oh, I can't say enough good things about it. I will do a review um, on this soon. I just, I wanna be able to try it a little bit more, but um, so far, I have the eye primer that I've been this. using, you've heard me talk about this a million times. It's the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is my last one of these little uh, like travel size, sample size things. Um, I think I'm going to switch to the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, just because I don't want to spend the 23 the I think it's 23 bucks at the full size of this is. So I just, I am looking for a drugstore alternative. So I think I'm going to go to the Milani once this is done. But I I love this for this eyes because I have been so incredibly busy I have not really had time to um, really I don't know just I guess really just do an eye look like today I did like the easiest look of life um, with the um, Too Faced just peachy mattes palette um, I've been using this so much uh, if you haven't seen it here is what it looks like I will try not to blend you with the mirror. Um, that is what it looks like. I love this so much. It just is so easy to use. Um, I love all the shades in it. It's so pretty. I love this. And it, to me, it's perfect for spring and summer. Um, but today I have uh, peach meringue all over the lid. And then in the crease, I have peaches and cream. And then in the outer corner, I have this dark brown shade over here called Peach Tart. Um, I just, I love this so much. So this is what I've been using for those quick, um, 
quick mornings where I have to get to work and I just have no time. I just slap slap this on and it's good to go. So this has literally been the eye look that I've been living in for the past two months. So, you know, when you live in an eye look for two months, you know, you're kind of busy. So, uh, the same eye look, I should say. Um, the one thing I forgot to talk about with the foundation is a, uh, brush that I actually totally forgot that I had and I freaking fell back in love with it. So it is the Sigma uh, 3D HD Kabuki brush. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yes, it's dirty because I used it this morning, but can we just for a second? So it is a different shape. It's cut a little bit differently. It's not like the F80, but this works amazing. It gets in those little crevices. Well, um, it just blends so easy. I freaking love this. When I first got this, I didn't love it. I didn't how I didn't love how it applied. I just didn't like it. And so I put it away and didn't use it for forever. And I just recently pulled it back out um actually in August and I freaking love this. So I'm pretty sure that you still can get this on the Sigma site. I will link all these products. I will link down below, so make sure you go check the description box um for where you can get them. But I love this brush. It is amazing. Freaking amazing. So this and has been fantastic. If I do need it, I've been using the Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. My shade is in number two. Uh, I love this. It does fantastic job of um, covering up blemishes. I have used a lot of it, even though you probably can't tell. Um, but I, I just love it. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, so it's amazing. Uh, under eye concealer, I do have this on today. It is the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer in the shade also number two. Um, I have made a major dent in this. I freaking love this under eye concealer. It's just the right peachy tone. Um, I just, I love it. Under eye it's setting fantastic. powder, um, I use, so I use a shade from the Lorac Contour Pro Palette. I use uh, this beige highlight right here, which I've hit pan on, I'm so sad, but that's what I use. Um, it's a great powder. And honestly, this you've heard me talk about this palette before. I love this, this is fantastic. So yes, it is dirty as crap, but I love this so much. So if you haven't checked this out, I highly suggest you Blush, I have a couple different things. So um, I, in the month of July, I used the Balm Frat Boy, like, nobody's business like it was going out of style I mean honestly I used this every single day I love the shade it's such a uh, kind of understated uh, peachy just goes with everything kind of a blush I freaking love this it's amazing but then I did a little digging in my collection and I found the uh, Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette um, and I have been using for the month of August, I've been using um, this blush shade right here. I believe it's called Posh. Yes, uh, this shade is called Posh. I do have this on my cheeks today. I love this blush. It is such, it's again, that understated, but it's so soft and subtle. I just, I love it. I'm kind of all about the soft and subtle right now, um, especially with it being springtime. Um, I just, I love this so much. It's fantastic. So if you haven't checked this out, I believe you still can get this uh, particular palette. Like I said, I will link to everything, um, down below. So please make sure you check the description box. Um, okay. Eyebrow gel, the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. You've heard me talk about this a million times. Love it. Uh, it's amazing. It's For freaking setting amazing. setting powder, it. the Estee Lauder. Uh, Lucidity Translucent Pressed Powder. Um, I love this so much. I use this all the time. I use it um, after I have done all my makeup. I will use it as a setting powder and it keeps me matte all day long. I love this. I adore this. Now, I will say, I ordered this on Ulta's website and they have since um, discontinued carrying it. However, Macy's has one. 
um, but they've changed the name. So I, it's not called the Lucidity Powder anymore. It's called like Double Matte or something. I will link down below to the powder um, so that you guys can go check it out. It is the same powder, I promise. I don't know why they changed the name, but this nevertheless is amazing. I can't for say lips. things about it. Um, I do have this on today. It is the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lipstick, um, number 415 in pink in the afternoon. This is such a pretty shade. I adore this shade of pink. It's such, uh, just a goes with everything, kind of just subtle. Um, it's, it, it's awesome. I, it goes with every single look that you do, whether it's a dark look or a light look. Um, I feel like it's very much springtime. So this is awesome. The I love Catrice this. The Catrice Long Lasting uh, Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. Love this stuff. This is like a lifesaver for me since I have oily skin. It, ugh, I just, I adore this. This is amazing. I think this is like the best purchase I have made from Ulta so far. So I really, really love this. So it's awesome. As you can see, I'm down to about right there. So, uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a really good setting spray that keeps you matte all day long, Check I this almost out. forgot. This awesome. So mascara, um, the, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love this. I'm wearing this today. This is my, I believe, second or third tube of this. Amazing. It separates, it lengthens, it volumizes, it does everything I would need a mascara to do. It does not flake, it does not transfer um, on my lower lash line or up on my brow bone. It is amazing. Hands down, probably my favorite mascara. So, all right, my Go friends. Well, I believe that is everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I do apologize that this is up so incredibly late, but better late than never. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.